Hi, my name is Anthony Pascarella. And I'm Gino Pascarella, and we are the Pascarella Brothers. Today, as promised, we will be making Panettone French Toast. We made Panettone bread pudding a few uh, episodes back, and we told you we were going to do it, so we're doing it. So around the holidays, Christmas, um, New Year's, that's a holiday. A lot of people drop these off for their well wishes. Panettone, they're delicious. Months and months later, they're still good. They're just, uh, the expiration date is, I think you have six or seven months on them. It's July. July. <laughs> July. So it's a Christmas item that's still good until July. And then ironically, around Easter, you get a similar product. That's the uh, Columba, which is basically an Easter Panettone. Good description. Good description. Um, usually the box is a little prettier, but anyway, you can see what it looks like. Ta-da! So it's a dry um, cross between bread and pound cake. How's that sound? And that's it. You have a lot left over. What do we do with them? Let's make French toast. Panettone French toast. We have two different ones, obviously. Look like big, gigantic muffins. Um, you can either cut them in half and have smaller slices this way, or you can have big, gigantic Circles, circles, circles. And I'll do the regular ones. They'll be like pancakes. Nice thick slab. This one happens to have chocolate in it. They usually have uh, dried candy fruit. Uh, that one's got chestnut. Anyway, they're going to be really good. Along with the uh, leftover panettone, a lot of us, like us, always have leftover eggnog. No matter what, you always have too much, you're never going to drink it all. It's uh, rich, it's heavy. Um, if you don't have eggnog, do it like regular French toast, that's okay. Or you can make eggnog just as easily. Um, eggs, cream, vanilla, nutmeg, eggnog. So now we're going to add the eggnog to the egg mixture. Watch your arm, I don't want to pour it on here. Taste it. Smell that. Let me see. Oh, it smells delicious. Oh, drink this whole bucket of eggs. It smells so good now. Eggnog, and so far we have about seven or eight eggs. Add a little butter to the grill. Butter. Oh, That's a little butter, all right. Wow. This is a lot of fun. Look at the size of that one. That's fantastic. I'll do this in that back corner. All right. Here's the first monster. Flip those. All right. Let me get mine on here. Hold on, I give it a little bit. Give me a touch of butter, just a little. Not as much as I gave you. <laughs> give me a little bit of butter. Just here. a little, please. There you go. Right there, there's your spot. Look at the size of that thing. Man, oh that looks God. fantastic. And that's what you do with all the extra panettone. Make French toast for the neighborhood. Voila. Look at these things. <laughs> okay. Okay. Then you can make it kind of fancy. Italians have an obsession with oranges and orange peels and bitter orange. We got some orange marmalade. I chose this brand mainly because, I don't know, we keep the bottle and use it as a flask. <laughs> I just like the shape of the bottle. A little cinnamon, a little nutmeg, a Enhance the eggnog flavor, a little powdered sugar. I think if you eat one of these, you're gonna be full. You're down for the count. Yeah. And there you have it, Panettone French toast. A very simple and delicious thing to do after uh, after the holidays, Christmas, New Year's, Easter, any others? Uh, Thanksgiving, Fourth of July, um, Veterans Day, Memorial Day. We've accomplished a couple things. We uh, managed to save something that uh, probably would have gotten thrown out, and uh, we made a really, really delicious breakfast. Try it. Thank you. You'll love it. Have a have great a good day. day.